I'm Eric Barnes of The Daily Memphian, and welcome to The Sidebar, a weekly show on the community, arts, culture, and more. Today I'm joined by Jennifer Biggs and Chris Harrington from The Daily Memphian to talk about, among other things, cheeseburgers. So stay with us for a conversation with Jennifer and Chris. Hello. Hello. Hey. Um, this is a continuation of a conversation about cheeseburgers and French fries and God knows what else that we just had on Sound Bites, Jennifer's show, Jennifer and Chris's show, I should say. Uh, that's available on, uh, you can get it wherever you get your podcasts if you're listening to this podcast or if you're listening to WYXR 91.7, you were just listening to us, hopefully. So, um, so we, we finished up the kind of, we, we, the mission was to do six, there was some confusion. And some people who, like me who just some, didn't follow the rules to, to do six um, uh, restaurants, cheeseburger places from McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King to Whataburger, Freddy's and Tops. I right. made it to Tops and threw in because Jennifer told me to, even though she denies it. I didn't mention denying it. Jack Pirtles and had an incredible experience at Jack Pirtles getting their cheeseburger, had a really good burger at Tops, which is I had never done even after 27 years. Um, but so... Where do we want to go here? We didn't talk. So we talked about the fast food, the the the, the big national chains on the other show. And we'll just show. we'll just we'll go right into Whataburger, with, with, Freddy's. Yeah, let's just, Jennifer and I had some minor disagreement on placement, but a general consensus that the big three familiar fast food places, Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, are the bottom three yes. in some order. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But so what, how is Whataburger, how is Fred, and you're a big Freddy's fan, Jennifer. I'm a, I'm a huge Freddy's fan. Now, this Freddy's, because I went and picked burgers up and took them home and, you know, quartered them and did everything the way I do things. This one, Freddy's had got Which a little bit weird. cold. Freddy, oh, it's okay. But I heard you say, if it's where you're still in the microphone, even if you're whispering. Okay. <laughs> it was it, weird. The, uh, that Go back was and how listen. I did it. The, um, I, Freddy's is, without a doubt, my favorite fast food burger. Freddy's is, a, I think, is a perfect burger. It's a smash burger. To go. You're, you're going to get it lacy around the edges, cheese in between it. I get mine, you know, like a burger supposed to be, mustard, pickle, onion. If you don't like, I mean, it's fine. You can get it with like, you know, I do burgers one of two ways, mustard, pickle, onion, or mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, onion. There is no, um, you know, like crossing over of the tomato for instance yeah. uh, the onion can cross over none of the others light onion i don't want it too onion was freddy's better than whataburger um f- for you freddy's was definitely better than whataburger quite a bit i mean way better than whataburger i did not have a good whataburger experience oh. this time this time no i'm a huge whataburger fan oh, okay. so but i did not have a good experience Chris? with this are we just talking about Freddy's right now? We're talking yeah, about let's what talk we have We're talking yeah. about. Let's throw some stuff here. Because I want to. I'm actually going to move. I want to move on to like gourmet burgers. Okay. Well, then, then which my was not th- part of the then, mission, but we all had. Then my third them. was Whataburger. My third was also Whataburger. Okay. We well, look at us third on, on, on the burgers. Um, I gotta say, I, I it took me two visits to get one Whataburger mm. because the first time I went, I aborted mission well, because. <laughs> It was so, I mean, I drove all the way to, you know, Dally and I were talking about before we recorded, it's, this is all relative to where you live. I live in Midtown. And so if I live in South Haven, it's not a big drive, but for Midtown, it's kind of a big drive. So I, I, I went and I went, I thought, you know, it's been open for a few weeks at this point and I, it was some weekday. I don't remember when it was. This, this was a couple of weeks ago, at least. And the line on, it was a state line road, Goodman Road, whatever road it is, the big road that it's on, the line in the turn lane was very long just in the turn lane to turn into the lot. And I turned into like what I thought was the right lot, except no, as I turned in, yeah. I'm facing a line going out the other way. And I tried to figure out how to maneuver my, this big pickup truck I'm driving over to the right line. <laughs> it's own podcast. And I just like gave up. I said, this, this is too stressful. I can't do this. And I just left. Well, so I came back a week later and turned not in into the lot, but into the street on the other side, which right. will take me to the back end where the line was. And then I sat in line for way too long and went through the rigmarole. And, like, I'm sure the popularity will die down at some point because Memphis people freak the F out about new fast food places. And more but, will open. They're already not, open. And, and they were putting ready. in the effort. They had, they yeah. had a process and they had a thing going, but it wasn't like a Chick-fil-A speed. On the Let line. me tell you something. That process they had going was not a working process. It was a little convoluted. It was. I got in a line where they, you don't even put your order in at the, the, the where you talk. They come to, eventually they come to your car. Right. When you stand up, open the door to your car and get out and say, hey, is anyone going to take orders? Because I'm already up around. Yeah. I'm on the side. You know, it's 20 minutes at that point. And they said, oh, somebody will be out in a little while to get your money. I said, yeah, I'm gonna get, I haven't given my order yet. So I give my order. 
I um, finally, someone comes, they take my order. I don't know what I want exactly because I can't see a menu. And I wanted to try the cinnamon roll that I was told was really good. It's not. But that, but I thought I would try it. Well, it's just it's just doughy and it's not. If you're Chris gonna and give Jennifer, me, flame Whataburger. If you're going to give me. On the as, sidebar. Well, if they didn't give me cheese, that was the cardinal oh, area. Oh, well, that's a problem. Yeah, don't, yeah I had cheese. And they come out, and they when they bring my order to me, they say, are you Jenny? And I said, do I know you? And they said, is that your name? And I said, well, I'm Jennifer. And they said, well, they wrote Jenny. And I said, well, what's the order? And then I thought, how familiar, what a burger. You don't know me well enough wow. to nickname me and then give me the wrong order. And I don't know. It just wasn't an overall pleasant experience. Well, how was your burger, Chris? I thought it was good. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with Whataburger. I know for some I people do, it's like, you know, it. road trip. It's, huh. a, it's a stop. Yes. Um, I have a different burger road trip stop, which is not any of these we can talk about later which is going the other direction away from where Whataburgers are. My, my dad actually took my, my son to Feltner's Whataburger in Russellville earlier this summer, which is related but not part of the corporate chain anymore. I think I've only had like a chain Whataburger a couple times, and they were both years ago. So I had no real memory of it. So I was basically having it fresh. I thought it was good. I, I thought it was a good fast food burger, clearly to me better than the Burger King, McDonald's, and even the Wendy's Burgers. But no, no revelation. It was fine. It was like a thin patty. It was, it was, it was. Did fine. you get a double? I got a double. Yeah, you have to get a double. I got a double. Not a double. It was perfectly good. Nothing I would go out of my way for. The fries also, I think, perfectly good. Nothing I go out of my way for. They're like McDonald's fries, but not as good. The, but but clearly way better than Burger King and Wendy's fries. So they're they're the right they're the right thickness. They they were crisp. They were well salted. I like the spicy ketchup that comes with them. I do like the ketchup. Everything about they it didn't give me any. Everything about this. Once I finally got my food and got out of the traffic, was a was a B plus thumbs up. So above average fast food experience, but nothing great. Was your number one top sin of these six ish, six seven on the burger on the burger side? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and it was your number two, Jennifer. Is that right? The Tops burger was really good. No, nah, this time Tops was my number one. It was. Well, oh, because because it, it, the way it all went. Yeah, yeah, just because of the way this all went down. Now, now I'm not saying that I think that Tops is necessarily better than Freddy's, but this time Tops was better than th- th- this was the perfect Tops burger when you went, to, which you sometimes get. It was the perfect one. Yeah, I'll have to and, do it again. It was really good. It was not my thing. It was a little too much mayonnaise. It was just it was good. My but mustard pickle onion is what I. I get just did, and I. By the way, all these places I just said I want the the. Double burger. I was mm-hmm. like, bring it however you're going to bring it. I would order it differently uh, at Tops next time. Yeah, Tops, I think you need to get a double burger. I think Freddy's, you need to get a double burger. I don't even think you – I think you just get the yeah. double. I think that's, that's the Freddy's. Just the way, that's just naturally I think the, Freddy, way is, right? the Freddy's original is a double so thin. burger. Yeah. Now, I like the Freddy's too. And, it, you know, the I, I looked it up because it's funny to me. I was looking – I did some Googling before the show at different lists, other like websites I've done on fast food burgers and fries. And, like, Freddy's doesn't appear – at all on any of the list. I mean, it's sort of under the radar. It's based out of Wichita, Kansas. And I think there may be a thing about a certain, this kind of Midwestern, because steak, steak and Shake is kind of like this, these sort of lacy, thin, lacy, mm-hmm. smash griddle burgers. When I was in Chicago a few weeks ago, Jennifer, I sent you a photo of a burger oh, I got there. that burger there. looked killer. It, looked, it, it also looked very greasy. You, you yes. pointed out, you, you zoomed in, and it's like, that's a lot of grease under the burger and yeah. the thing. But we went to this restaurant in Chicago called The Region, and, I, and after I did some investigating, the region I figured, I found out meant Northwest Indiana. That was the region. <laughs> but it's a certain style of like lacy, lacy, lacy um, patty spilling out all, through the from the bun, griddle, like really well salted, like griddle burgers. And I like that style I do too, of burger. Very much. And I like the Freddy's quite a bit. I will say the Freddy's is pretty greasy. And so I think I give the tops the edge. Ultimately, and I think the Freddy's like it's a smaller burger that you really feel after you mm-hmm. eat it to me, maybe a little bit too much, but it's so delicious when you're eating it. I would say that all in all, of normally, I'm gonna if somebody ever says, First, I go get a burger, I'm gonna drive through, I'm gonna say Freddy's. 
I like Freddy's that much. I love the Freddy's because it's a, uh, it is a little it's bit a well kept secret. Because unlike you know Whataburger and some of these, there's there's never like some huge like line. That's not Fred- true. Yeah, well, that has not Pop been my experience were, in yeah. East Memphis. The, 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 when I've gone, there hasn't been. This this one had a pretty <laughs> Natalie, good line. It wasn't Natalie terrible. Has a very firm opinion right there. <laughs> but I love the fries. I love those skinny fries. See, I think they're great. I skinny, like them skinny. too, but I like the McDonald's better. I think McDonald's is the right thickness, just right. I think the Freddy's is a little too much, too shoestringy, and they I have can, to be really fresh and really well salted. I've got. I got Freddy's second on my fries. I got McDonald's one. You have Freddy's number one have, on your right, fries. Well, one and two. Yeah. Right. Switch yeah. that around. And Burger and Whataburger three on fries. All right. Same. I'm going to take a real quick remind everybody. Uh, this is I'm Eric Barnes, and this is the side beer. <laughs> the side beer. <laughs> I would like a side beer if I could get that, please. This is the sidebar, which airs on WYXR 91.7 every Thursday, 1130, focused on the community, arts, culture, everything in between. Uh, today, doing it with Jenny Biggs and Christopher Harrington. Um <laughs> It's not just a radio show. It's just one of many weekly podcasts we do at the Daily Memphian, including the Behind the Headlines podcast, a number of sports podcasts, Bill Dries on the Record podcast, and Jenny Biggs food podcast, <laughs> Sound Bites, which, uh, and I should say, I should say Jenny Biggs and Chris Harrington, because um, Chris is co hosting now all the time. Um, food podcast, Sound Bites, which airs on WYXR every Thursday at 11. All of our podcasts on the Daily Memphian site, as well as iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get this show and uh, Sound Bites on the WYXR app. You can also get Chris's show. Show sing all kinds, which is every Thursday night, Th- well, afternoon, four p.m. Four p.m. You can yeah. get that as well if you've missed past shows that Chris has done. Um, uh, those are the, le- the past four shows are always available on the WXR site or on their app. Um, soon we've got coming up. Speaking of music, don't we have Steve Selvage? I'm looking at Natalie Van Gundy. Steve Selvage is coming up for an interview very soon. We've got some other shows coming up. We're always welcome uh, suggestions. Just email me at barnes at dailymemphian.com. Um, recently had Howard Stovall on talking about Mighty Roots Festival. Um, we've had other shows that you can get to. And I uh, also do Behind the Headlines over on WKNO. We recently had the police chief, CJ Davis, on. We had the health director on. We had the new president of Rhodes on. So you can get all those. Just search the internet for Behind the Headlines or go to the Daily Memphian site. Um, so I want to switch to stay with burgers. And you mentioned Chicago. So like favorite burgers ever. And one of mine is Au Cheval, which is a French bistro kind of place. I thought about going there when I was in Chicago recently because now they have an um, offshoot that is only a burger related. Oh, my goodness. I think have it's you ever called done, like Small Cheval there? there? Never There's have. one in New York as well. I think it's a like a, you know, it's not chain, but it's a fancy chain. It is – it's like a French. I can't. I should have looked up what the hell what it is. I don't even know how to describe this burger. But we got lucky to get in there. We went pre COVID. We went in about eleven, and like right when they opened, and they let us right in. It was already full because you got to be ready to wait. It's kind of crazy, and I don't like to wait for food because I don't have any patience. It's just this amazing, just handmade French burger. It's not unlike a Bishop burger. Which is also one of my like favorite burgers in burger. the world. Well, so is it when you say handmade? Of course, it's a handmade patty. What was on it? It was the same as what's on a Bishop burger. It's like it's this kind of secret sauce, this kind of amazing, it, almost it's it's saucy in a way. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just right. cooked, maybe a little bit of onion in there. Incredible bun. Oh, is it's, it like a, a Marchand de Vin? A Marchand de Vin? Is it the yeah, red sauce I, on it on the Bishop? Burger? I think it is. Well, so, I, yes, it's it's very similar to a to a Bishop burger. So 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 Cheval is this kind of a high end restaurant, and this burger became very popular. It became so popular. They did an offshoot restaurant in Wicker Park, which I walked by, called Small Cheval, that is only a burger and fries Well, isn't place. that cute? It's only yeah. their burger. And, and and we'd already had a burger. My son and I were bopping around Chicago while my wife was working. We'd already had a burger at this place called The Region, like, the night before or two nights before. So we did not go back for a burger. We went to a, a Middle Eastern market in Wicker Park. But I kind of made a note. Like, I really wish I'd, I'd gone at least to Small it's Cheval. It's amazing. And, there, and again, I'm 99% sure there's one in New York down um, in the village because I walked by and I was like, oh, my God, unless they stole the name. It, it's really – it's top three burgers. But for me, like a Bishop Burger is a top five burger. I still have a Bishop love Burger. This. I love those burgers. You know, when it comes to a burger, I tend to get – there are – I mean, I love a big fancy burger too. And I, you know, I think River Oaks has a great burger and the, mm-hmm. the trick that – uh, Jose does is one thing I don't like on a burger. By the way, is bacon. I don't like bacon on my burger. Oh, I can't. I, I do. I don't. But I get it. It's just the you know it's too much. It's a lot. It tastes like bacon. Yeah. Instead of like yeah. burger, but he takes a little bit leaner meat and then he uh, 
grinds it and he grinds the bacon in with it. Uh, so yeah. you get a little bit of that flavor, that saltiness, a little bit of that umami yeah. that the bacon will give. And it's it's in the burger. So that's a nice fancy yeah. burger. That, that but, must be part of what they're doing with uh, Ocheval is, is whatever that meat is, is not just like some ground beef with salt. I mean, there's something going on with it. Right. You know, I'm a big fan of the Folks Folly Burger. Chris did not have quite as the great, Natalie, the great experience well. that I did. Natalie, I can see her cheering. She and the fries. Speak. And, oh, God, I love those shoestring fries. I mean, you can't make a fry too thin for me. The one that Karen that, that Karen will do with the, <clears throat> the uh, mussels and frites at Beauty Shop. I mean, they're they're just barely the as thin as, you know, like the as a – the lead on a pencil or something. Those are good And I fries. love I, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, beauty shop fries are good. But the, um, but now I'm not talking about like the Parmesan fries. I mean, like the but I mean, fries, like all but of those them. Like, just, they do uh, fries yeah. really well. Although I will st- say, I, the only thing about fries is this. I am over truffle oil on my fries anywhere. I won't, I won't get them at Erling's. I won't get them at beauty shop. I just say, please give me a, Olive oil instead. So I still like it. I haven't burned it on. Yeah, I'll, I have. give you a, I'll give you a few burgers. Um, so in in Minneapolis, not Minneapolis, in St. Paul, Minnesota, there's a place in St. Paul called the Nook that it, that it, that I love bur- the burgers there. And Minneapolis, St. Paul is known for the, the Juicy Lucy's, which are the stuffed burgers. Mm-hmm. They do that there, but that's not really what it is. It's more of a griddle burger, but thicker than like we think of the Freddy's kind of stuff. Those are really good burgers. A couple, a couple in Mississippi. These are like you know driving distance, quasi from Memphis. And I haven't been to either in a while, so I don't know if they, they've held up. But I used to love, and this is not a fancy burger at all, but I used to love going to Phillips Grocery oh, in Holly sure. Springs, Everybody Mississippi. Did. Right. And oh, get yeah. those sort of crusty um, griddle burgers there. And you can get like sides of fried okra and stuff like that. But I think the best burger I've had, and I've only went to this place once, and it was like five years ago. And it, I just looked it up in the internet. It does still exist. I have no idea whether the burger is still this good. Uh, but we went to this place in Natchez, Mississippi called The Camp. Which was a new restaurant at the time, and it was a higher end, like you know, you know, more of a steak style, ground steak kind of burger, um, and it was it was great. And I still remember, like, I don't have a lot of memorable burgers in my life, but I remember that burger as being particularly good. I am when it when it comes to a burger, pretty much all you have to do to make me happy is get out a skillet, get out some beef. Salt it good. You have got to put some salt. That's and that's with a steak too. I mean, if right. you don't put it on when you sear it, you're not getting any flavor in it. Period. Right. So right. You, your salt, your pepper, your uh, if you're going to do a little garlic salt, whatever you can. But mainly, you just need salt and pepper. And I, I am a huge Alex's fan. Give oh yeah, that's Alex's. a good burger. That, that's a really good Greek burger. Greek burger is uh, fantastic. Ward Archer took me there. We had a really great time at Alex's. He was like, "How?" It was his. Pre, right before COVID, it's like, how have you never been here? I, go, I don't know. I mean, I've been here in 22 years. And I've never been to Alex's. And we sat there and ate potato chips and burgers and right. God knows what else and drank beer. It was it, great. Yeah. And that it, it, natural lights. Yeah. You, and let, well, you can yeah. get a bottled beer now, but if you got it on, on track, yeah. that's what you got. It's a really, I think it's a, a just a fine burger. No doubt about it. It's so, that Cavenders. Yeah, it does have Cavenders. That's what makes it Cav- so good and, to and me. And I love Cavenders too. Although he does kind of his own blend now. So it's kind of like a part Cavenders and part something else. He has a, his own uh, Greek seasoning. Blended, but he did Cavenders for years. But okay. it tastes like Cavenders anyway. Yeah. So uh, one of my favorite is, it's not just nostalgia, but it's a place in Tacoma, Washington, where I grew up. So every time I'm in Tacoma, we try to get there. And it's called Frisco Freeze. It was like a, I mean, like my mom and dad went there, you know, 70 years ago or 60 years ago, or whatever. So it's a kind of an old school drive in. There's no plate. There's nowhere to go in and sit. And it's a, it's a just, I don't know if, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like, you got to get a double. And mm-hmm. on it is this kind of, I don't know what they do to the meat, but it's really good. It's very thin patties, which is why you need to got to get the cheese. And then it's this, this, um, mix of little chopped lettuce, a little mayo, which I don't even like mayo, but I like the way they do this. I, there must be some like pickle thing in there. This kind of incredible little bit of mustardy. It's a mm-hmm. little like the, um, Jack Pearl's burger actually. And it's just this amazing. So if you're ever in Tacoma, and I know you will be, yeah, I love um, next week. Probably. If you're ever in Tacoma, it's just it's just an amazing kind of uh, just grungy local uh, burger. Also, really good fries. There was a place uh, when I grew up that you weren't here in time, and Chris, I don't think you would remember. You might, but I think it was gone before you would. Uh, do you remember Minuteman? Nope. 
Ah, Minuteman was a good burger. That was a fantastic uh, yeah. burger. And I'll tell you who used to have a great burger. And, or when I was like a, a teenager, we would go eat all the time because we go to, we could go to the mall. You could go hang out in the Raleigh Springs Mall. You were free to hang out. Free range children go hang out in the mall. Oh, absolutely. Wanted. And they had a Shoney's in there, and we would go. And I loved the All American Burger, and they cut their own French fries from. Uh, Onions back then, they were, you know, hand okay. fried French fries. So from onions. Yeah, that's yeah. Quite an achievement. From onions, yeah. That's what they cut them from. And a little but pinch of know. magic. Yeah. So that reminds me that, and I was, I, this is like when I first moved to Memphis, however many years ago, Danvers. I really oh, liked a Danvers cheeseburger. My and people first, thought my it was first nuts. job ever was working at Danvers. And those really? burgers were good. Yes. They were like kind of, I mean, they were sort of fast food, but it's almost what like Burger King wants to think they do. Like with the, and we talked about that. In oh, these were so much better. Yeah. They're truly kind of cooked over a grill. Like the bun was good. I mean, they're fast food burgers without a doubt, but they were really good. No, they, and they were thicker, a lot thicker yeah. than uh, yeah. any of these other burgers we've been talking about. I I think there's still a Danvers left. Is Isn't, there one? I, th- I think there may be two. I think there might still be one on the one Kirby. In Midtown and I think, is one I would always go to. I think there might be one on Kirby. I think the one in Midtown think, became a cookout. That it became did. a cookout. I've yeah. never eaten that cookout. Have you? I When it first opened, I did, and it was weird. And I don't remember much about it. I just can't. I can't think of anything <laughs> that I've ever seen. It was seen like, like you went into a combo. A and and the like a the combos are fire. unusual. Yeah. You yeah. can get like a quesadilla with your burger instead of fries. That's what I like about it. <laughs> they, and all the milkshake all, combinations. Milkshakes. Yeah. It's pretty cheap. It's like college food. I, I think like my daughter and her friends, I want to say like it's big with the teenagers probably because it's so cheap. It, yeah, but I, I maybe we should have had the cookout on the list, but I didn't have the heart to. I, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, I didn't want to go through a hearty. It was or no. I was thinking there's oh, so many. Ahead. I think I was alluding to earlier. I can't remember whether it was here or on the 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 sound bites. Like my my road trip burger sometimes mm-hmm. is Culver's, which is more northern Midwest Wisconsin. I've never been to Culver's. I get a lot and of people who will when we do burger conversations. They talk about Culver's. Well, one of their sides butter. is cheese curds, fried cheese well, curds, I, I which like, is a very I northern Midwest curds. kind of thing. And it's like oh, yeah. Freddy's. It's very frozen custardy too. Um, but good burgers of like butter. They call them butter burgers, which really are just like you're putting butter on You the, put on the butter bars. in the center of it, is what you No. no but yeah, you do. Not yeah, you pat- do. I mean, maybe yes, when you cook do. it, but there's no right. like. When you, right. But they're when not you like, cook you know, it, it's a condiment. They're not throwing butter on there. That's right? what they when do. When the meat is in, raw, they put, they put the butter on the top. They put the butter right. in and then kind of form it like you would if you were making a Juicy Lucy. Right. And I learned that from Steph Cook back when he had Rock and Grub. And he would do that in the middle of his burgers. And he said that that's what they did at Culver's. I think Culver's all around better than Whataburger. Then, well, Whataburger has always been my, you know, my go on a trip food because if, because we're always going south if we're driving. We're going yeah. to Florida or going to New Orleans and you'd stop for a We road trip to Minnesota all the time, obviously. Yeah. I mean, normally I, I would, I would defend the south and Texas over the, over the Midwest on food subjects, but mm-hmm. this one I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. I've never had a Culver's. I'll make I've never had a Culver's. One did I, you, did y'all have Jack in the Box here? I've had a Jack in the Box it's in really Nashville. And it, yeah, you know, it was I'm, big I'm, in the West Coast. I'm, I'm not really right. Big. I'm not big on Jack in the Box, or I have always I've found the In and Out no to be a hugely thank overrated. You. Thank, yes. you, thank you, thank you. I've only had In and Out once, yes. and it was in Dallas, not in California. Had it, and in it was uh, several years yeah. ago, but it, I didn't think it was that great. I, I just think either. it's so overrated. I mean, it's not that it's gross; it's just a kind of fast food burger. Isn't there a sauce or something that people like about I've never there had it. It's either the prime good fries. Sauce I like the fries. They were, yeah, my, my Shake Shack oh, experience is, was better than my in and out experience. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. I, I haven't had Shake Shack, but that brings up a, a missed burger in Memphis. I tell you. I know where you're going, and I agree. A, absolutely. Sear Shack was a good oh, I was, no, that, burger. I, Wasn't that was great? Sear Shack. Sear Shack. Sear 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 Shack. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Sear Shack was a, was a basically sort of a, a local it, Shake Shack ripoff. It gotcha. was. But it was a very simple menu. They did griddle burgers, which were very good. They did hand-cut fries, which were very good. And they did salted caramel milkshakes, which oh, were very good. So good. Oh. It was the best burger fry milkshake combination of all three uh, things in the city of Memphis. Homemade pickles. They made yep. the, the mom made the pickles and they have like ended up with like four or five of them. They closed during COVID, but they were great. And they had one chicken The one shack. we went to was in the Sanderlin Center. That's, That's the one. That, that was yeah, yeah. the uh, second one that opened. Collierville first, right. then that one. But And they opened a chicken place out on Highway 64, or maybe called Chicken Shack. I can't even remember what it was called now, but it closed too. And they had great, same, same concept. 
Just chicken sandwich. That was the best. I'm telling you, that was the best burger fry sh- milkshake combo in terms of all three being good you could get anywhere in Memphis. Nope. Hmm. I, I, w- I would agree that that was a, they were fantastic. Although, we talked about Freddy's and sound bites came right before you, sound sidebar that you're listening to. We now. never should have done two S's <laughs> if, uh, for these shows. It, it's we, very difficult. If, if it's just these two words, ways. sound bites, sidebar. sidebar. It's yeah, like way too close. SBSB. But the, uh, but, Freddy's has really good ice cream and they have it's really custard. good shakes. It is custard <laughs> and they ridiculously give you a straw as if anybody could suck. Isn't a, it so dumb? <laughs> that I get so irritated. A straw. I know. You can't. You have You're to have using the straw as a spoon. Yes, spoon. Right. That's right. What, what, what is the best, best milkshake in town? Or oh, a, a, gosh. The best, it doesn't have to be one, but I kind of hate the best thing. Um, well, I mean... Freddy's is good. Now, I'm, I am a huge, huge Frosty fan. There's now, the place in is, Hernando, the dip. The that's dip, pretty good. The dip yeah. is a... I haven't been there in a while, but... I haven't. Well, me either. And I'm not a huge milkshake fan, actually. Yeah. But I do like, um, you know, I like ice cream a lot. So, yeah. I... Yeah, it Freddy's. might be at Jennifer's house. Yeah, yeah, I'm, a, milkshake. I'm, a, I'm a fan yes. of the. I, I haven't had the milkshake there, but I'm a fan of the soft serve vanilla custard ice cream at um, Sugar Sugar Ghost, which, that they, which they do with a chocolate dip cone, which Jennifer loves, and that's a good chocolate. I, dip same, place. And Natalie that? loves them too. Love it. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know that was the one thing that saved McDonald's from just being the worst food place ever when they back when they had a dip cone. McDonald's had a great dip cone. They, they did used have a, a great dip cone. They used they a did. darker chocolate. Yeah. The ice cream's cold enough so that it would really it make good. a good, you know. It was good. Yeah. Dairy Queen has a good one. I promised in that uh, sound Dairy bites. Queen. Uh, d- yeah, Dairy Queen. You know, who, when my kids used to go to Backyard Burger, that was a pretty good um, milkshake. Actually. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they would make it. It was, it was not a. It was not that's a, right. Chick-fil-A is a pretty good milkshake, yeah. actually. Do they? So yeah. I, I, don't I, don't told, I, I promised, I forgot, you mentioned McDonald's, and I would tell the story of my friend Matt, who's a commercial fisherman in Alaska now, but we grew up together in Tacoma, ordering, we're talking about McDonald's, and when we were probably like 19... He got stuck. This is before cell phones, before anything. It was so long ago. So we were late picking him up in the middle of nowhere in Washington. And he was stuck there for like six hours and because we weren't in a hurry. And he, <laughs> yeah, then, and he had really gotten off the boat. He got dropped off the boat. So he hadn't eaten in forever. My friend Matt, who was skinny as anything and skinnier than I was in, but we had this huge appetite. So we pick him up and he's, he's a very strange human. He's moaning and like sighing. He's like, you got to give me food. You got to give me food. So we go to McDonald's and he gets up and, you know, like we all try to get in front of him because we're jerks and we order. And then he gets and he goes, I'll have a, I'll have a Big Mac. I'll have a quarter pounder. I'll have a nine piece chicken nuggets. I'll have a milkshake. I'll have a large fry. I'll have a chicken sandwich. I'll have a filet fish. And he, he's just going down the menu and he's ordering everything. And I remember the woman stopped checking it in. Like you're messing with me. And he's like, why? Why did you Why did you stop? Because he's this tall, skinny guy ordering everything. And she goes, no. He goes, no, I want everything on the menu. And he read off. And this was before the menu got exceedingly big. But it was 12 items. Proceeded to sit down and eat every bite of all of that. Did he really eat it all? Every single bite. Licked his fingers. Got up. Went and got like a six-piece nuggets, a cheeseburger, and another Coke. Just as a kind of palate cleansing <laughs> end. His dessert. It was unbelievable. How I mean, did he then vomit in your take, car? How long did it take him to eat it? Not near as long as it should have. I mean, we were. I don't remember how long we were sitting there, but it was very quick. And he was just. That's just the kind of human he was. I mean, he was just a. He's a very strange guy. He still is. I saw him uh, this summer and. uh uh, he's a wonderful person. But what a compliment! Very yeah, no, he's very strange. He's, he's, he's not like, here. He's, he's, he's not here. He, he's all the way. No, to he's not. He's well, he's in Alaska right now, I think. But um, anyway, that was my story. We went to Sakura this weekend to eat sushi, and you know, you can one of those rolls is it, often it, too much. Yes, because it adds up it, real quick. You, yeah, yes. I mean, and there was a table of three people sitting next to us, and they had like four or five of these big rolls come out, and so I said, "Well, what does this last one look like?" And uh, what is it? I couldn't tell what it was, and so we asked, and they told us, and we made some comment about. Oh, y'all are never going to finish those rolls. You know, we'll just all join yeah. together. But, it, you know, jocular type of talk. And then um, they ate all of those. And then they ordered full meals. I know. I, know. How, it's, I, it's I mean, they ate, but they ate it all. How is it possible? I know. 
All right, we're, uh, we're out of time. Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for being here. If you missed any you. of the show today, you can get it on the WYXR app. You can get it on the Daily Memphian. You can get it wherever you get your podcast. You can also get the first half of the conversation, Sound Bites with Jennifer Biggs and Chris Harrington. We talked about more of the fast food side of the, the burgers and God knows what else we talked about. Um, thank you both for being here. Thank you, Natalie, for participating in your, your small, but very important way. Um, and we will see you next week. Oh.